Well, we have just arrived at the National Park border for Sequoia and Kings Canyon National Park. Super excited, man. This is our first uh, national park that we've reached so far and it's gonna be incredible. I've always wanted to come to these uh, national parks and then right after we go through these two national parks, we're gonna be going into Yosemite. So uh, this is just gonna be amazing hiking. Uh, possibly the the prettiest section of the entire trail so um, it's just amazing out here but it's it's pretty warm so well we just got here to the Whitney trailhead and I'm guessing it's that way and then we got deer everywhere Pretty beautiful out here. We got marmots, all kinds of wildlife. Pretty amazing. Wow. Well, we're going to be camping around here somewhere. We're going to hide our tent and then we're going to uh, go up Whitney tomorrow without our packs. More deer out there. Beautiful stream, man. Hey guys, well we are about to start our 4,000 foot climb up to the top of Mount Whitney. Um, it's a 4,000 foot climb and 8.7 or 8.7 miles so uh, we're not really too sure how long it's going to take us considering that we're in pretty good shape and we're not bothered too much by the elevation but we're going much higher so this is where the trail starts at right here we've still got some deer but uh, we're going to be heading up there so we're going to get this thing started well we've been climbing for about a mile and we've been following Whitney Creek here uh, the entire way so far it's a uh, been pretty flat so far the first mile there's a ranger station right here uh, that we pretty much walked to but now we're gonna start our climb and I imagine it's gonna get pretty steep from here so just wanted you guys to see what it looked like at the beginning well we just got to our first lake on our way up to Mount Whitney uh, we've probably only gone up we haven't gone up too much yet about 10,000 something feet probably maybe 11,000 Beautiful. Timberline Lake. Pretty amazing. Man. Love to go for a dip in this. Just gorgeous out here, man. Words really can't even do this place justice. Never have I hiked anywhere like this before. It's amazing. Amazing. A lot of trout too. I can just see them swimming around in this lake. Golden trout, brook trout. Uh, I've seen golden trout, brook trout, rainbow trout so far. Pretty amazing. I know, I saw it. Trout just hitting the, hitting the surface of the water. Well, we're getting close to 12,000 feet. That's where we came from. And this is where we're going. And I think there's a lake right up here. But uh, I think we're gonna be going this way, around to the other side of the mountain possibly, to go up, but I'm not really sure. Just looks pretty steep through here. It's gorgeous up here though. Guitar Lake. Well, I don't think words can really do this area justice. 
it is just incredible. You got this ice cold mountain stream just cascading right down into Guitar Lake. A million places to camp around here. Just absolutely breathtaking. Man. Of course, I wouldn't want to be here in the wintertime, that's for sure. Man. Okay, well, I think I'm gonna chug some water. Man, wow. Wow. Well, we're climbing. This is a little bit better look at Guitar Lake where we just were. We were just over there. Just amazing. Yeah, and the switchbacks are, uh, well, so far, uh, from what I've been told, too, they're pretty nice, very well constructed. So it's not a very steep climb. If we were coming up the other side of uh, Mount Whitney, I heard there was 99 switchbacks. Uh, I don't know if that's true, but I would imagine that it is. So luckily we're not coming from there. We're already at a little bit higher elevation on the backside. So anyways, it's just what we're seeing right now. But we're slowly making our way up. My watch is showing 12,640 feet, and uh, it's getting harder to breathe. Up here for sure, we were down there not too long ago. We got some people coming up here behind us. I think they're day hikers. You can usually tell the day hikers from the through hikers because we go pretty fast by them. Considering that we walked 760 something miles to get here, it's not really fair, but anyways, it's just breathtaking. This trail is a uh, nice switchback so far, but uh, we're going that way, so. Well guys, we are 13,200 feet, and uh, we came from that direction. There's Guitar Lake all the way down there, where we started at. Well, not where we started at, but where you guys saw us at. Uh, we're almost even with these mountains that were, that look like castles earlier, so. Uh, not too bad. Uh, moving up this thing pretty good. Daniel's not too far behind. We are making good time. But uh, it's pretty uh, breathtaking. I mean, I think I've said that a million times, but there's really, you could use every word in the dictionary to describe this place and it wouldn't even do it justice. It's amazing. So uh, the trail, like I said earlier, has been pretty pleasant. Not too difficult as I almost fall. So, uh, we're liking it. I'll be glad to be at the top. I heard maybe the last mile or two is uh, kind of like a plateau, probably like Katata on the Appalachian Trail. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to that. How you doing down there? So, We'll see, uh, we'll see if it's a plateau. I hope so. We're knocking out a couple thousand feet here in no time. <clears throat> Which I kind of prefer to do it that way. Just get the climbing over with. Man. You know, uh, the Appalachian Trail is amazing in, its, in and of itself, but uh, this just takes it to another level. I have never seen anything like this. I never hiked anywhere like this. Just absolutely amazing. Give you guys one more view. I'm gonna shut it off and finish this climb. There it is. So we're going up to this mountain today, 14,000 something feet. Tomorrow, we're gonna be going from 8,000 to 13,000 over the highest point on the Pacific Crest Trail Forester Pass because this is uh, not actually on the trail, so um, this is just off trail. So we got a lot of climbing to do, and uh, we've been doing 20s every day. We did 24 miles yesterday to get us here, so we're pretty beat. But uh, we're tied on food, so uh, it's forcing us to do 20s to 25s, 
through the Sierras so far. But uh, heck, it hasn't bothered us too bad. So that's great, we're lucky. So anyways guys, I'm gonna keep hiking. Well, for those of you who like the cowboy camp, here's a great spot right here, uh, about 13,300 feet, amazing view. Uh, it'd probably be a little cold up here, but I know I've seen uh, other people's uh, videos on YouTube from uh, this location, people camping here, so pretty amazing view. Man, just keep stopping to take it all in. It's unbelievable. We left our tent down there uh, in the forest, so we got our light packs. How's it feeling? Ooh, this altitude's tough. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. But you can't beat these views, huh? Nope. Look at that. We're the same height as, as these peaks right here that we were looking at when we were down there. Yeah. Well, we've been having views over here to the west for a while. Back down there where we came from. But this is the first time we have views out towards the Mojave. Pretty amazing. A little bit of a fall. We just came from that way. So it's cool, just kind of right here on this little ridge in between huge drop-offs. Not too bad. How you doing? Good, great, thanks. There's Guitar Lake. You probably can't make it out, but there's a trail down there. That's where we came from. Pretty amazing. Another view. Huh. Air has a different smell coming from the desert. Pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. Well, I'm gonna have to say some on battery life here. Well, I just reached the first plateau. Up there, I don't know if you can make it out. People climb into the, the final stretch right here, it's right at the top there. So pretty much uh, the hard climb is behind me, but this is a view to where we started down there in those, those, that forest. Well, here we are at the top. I'm guessing, is that Lone Pine down there? I think it must be, yeah. Man. Sheesh. Hold it, hold it. We saw a marmot. I'm going to take one more like that. Well, it's been cool up here at the top. This is the little emergency hut. Let's see, let's open the door and see if anyone's in here. Awesome. It smells like cigarettes in here. So this is the uh, shelter if you had to stay here. 
You're staying in a historic building, which is 104 years old. This building is 104 years old. Please show some respect. Don't write your name on it. I agree with that completely. And pretty cool. There's a little candle in here. I guess if you had to ride out a storm in here, it could be pretty scary on top of this mountain. Oh my gosh, I'm locked in. Oh, I'm not. Just kidding. Well, this is pretty amazing. We're going to start our climb down now. Yeah, so it's a little upsetting because we got up here and we were hoping for a view, right, Daniel? Or two-tone? Man. And, I don't know, not much of a view to be had up here. Uh-uh, nothing. Man. Look at that rock that. right there. It's like an eagle rock. See the head? Oh, yeah. He's watching you go the sit valley on below. It? Should we go sit Let's on that? Let's take our picture on it. There's the top. We just kind of walked over here because the views looked even crazier over here. Man. Oh, man, there's a fire right over there. Where? Straight ahead. Oh, yeah, I see it. Man, I hope we're not going that way. Yeah, there's already one forest fire that's, uh, you, you can see north. all of the this area right here, there's like a haze that's all smoke uh, from a fire near Sonora Pass, yeah. Kennedy Meadows North. Kennedy Meadows. So like a few hundred miles from us. So we're hoping that they get that under control before we get there because that would really stink. But man, it's breathtaking up here. It really is. Really is. And these guys are about to just go off the side of the mountain. Which way are you guys going? Uh, just Over there? Around, yeah. Yeah. Man, that's crazy. Can I do it? You, yeah, you probably do it. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I it's fall. Like, it's like a no fall zone, but yeah, it's, yeah. Like, it's not like that. It's Man. just like, it's a lot of loose stuff and it's steep. That's Once you get down, is there? do you hit a trail or anything or what do you do from there? Yeah. Yeah, it's a pretty well defined trail. Yeah. Sweet, well, man. For the most part. Cool. Well, good luck, guys. I don't think you need it, but... <sighs> well, we are heading down Whitney. It was a great time up there. Um, just a beautiful place. And we got our 4,000 foot descent that we're about to do. Got it. Kind of looks like the trail just ends right here. 4,000 foot descent. And hopefully we're not heading over there straight ahead where there's a forest fire. Uh, I don't know which way the PCT goes, but there's a new fire that started just since we've been up here. So <clears throat> anyways, we're going to be heading down. This is going to be a lot easier than the, uh, than the climb was, that's for sure. So there's not too many kind of hairy places. So, well guys, we are heading down to Whitney and here's our view. As we head down, this is the trail. It skirts this ridge line right here for about a quarter of a mile. It's still a little icy through some of these parts. Not much though. You can avoid it. if you can make it out but there's actually people ahead of me on trail so it's a little rocky through here anyways we're gonna be going right through there and then switch backs all the way down we were climbing down Whitney and we literally just passed a guy that was coming up. I mean, I'd say he was probably in his 80s. He's actually right there. You probably can't see. He is close to the top of Whitney. Just blows us away, man. I hope I'm climbing a mountain like this when I'm that age. That just kind of yeah. tells you you can do anything. Yep. I mean, he's moving slow, but he is going. That's just, and he's got to come down tonight. Yeah, it's three o'clock. Man, blows me away. Anyways, guys, just, just a little view here. Oh, yeah. down there. Overhanging ice. Pretty incredible. Man. Anyways. Okay, well, we're going to keep on going down. When we're done, we're going to be right down there in that forest. 
guitar. Is that guitar like right there? Yeah, guitar like. Yeah. We're gonna be down there in a little bit, so. And then we're gonna have a little uh, dinner down there and go set up camp somewhere. Guitar Lake. As you can see, the trail just skirts right along the top until you get over these rocks on the backside and then it's able to drop down because it's not so steep. But uh, you wouldn't want to fall here. amazing this portion of the trail uh, this is just north of the Whitney portal which is when the trail coming from the back side of the mountain hits the trail that's coming up from the front side of the mountain which is the trail that most people hike up because most people to get to the trail that's back here you have to put in some miles uh, just to get to it it's in the middle of nowhere so uh, but right there the Whitney portal you've only got about a couple miles left maybe a little less and the trail gets like this as you just follow along and then go along that and then up pretty incredible It's almost July and there's still snow. In fact, a week ago to two weeks ago, our friends that were here, their pictures were completely in snow. So I think we kind of timed it perfectly. Much easier to climb this when you don't have to worry about your, your footing. Here, I'm gonna stay with you guys just to right here where you do the switch over here to the other side of this ridge. So we're going to be going that way guys and then dropping straight down. I'll be back later. Well, we're going this way. This section uh, a couple miles down from the top. Or actually not even a couple miles down from the top but um, we've already dropped down about a thousand feet the trail just kind of skirts along these uh, rock formations and it's the rockiest section of the trail for sure coming up from the back side of Whitney that's where we're gonna be going down there Guitar Lake and this is the trail I mean, it's just breathtaking up here. It's gonna go right along, and then right there, where that marmot is sitting. Oh yeah, I see it. <laughs> He's sitting there guarding all the backpacks. It's pretty funny, people leave their backpacks there because uh, it's where the trail from the backside of the mountain meets the trail from the front side of the mountain, so, um, and there's only like a mile and a half or two miles to the top from there, so a lot of people, We'll leave their backpack there so they don't have to carry it all the way to the top 
But what they don't know is that there's these marmots that live there and they feed on those backpacks every single day. We'll see if he's still out there when I get over there or not. was sitting right here not anymore there he goes down trail he's running down trail man okay hey guys well we just got done uh, hiking up Whitney today it was a great hike we we're really tired um, it was about 18 miles um, so not too bad this is our camp spot here we, we like to kind of uh, camp off trail uh, a distance stealth camp as we call it uh, and this is our kind of a little hangout spot <clears throat> where we had dinner we got a uh, Whitney Creek right here and it's right through there's uh, there's actually a meadow and there's a lot of people actually over there uh, camping that's where everyone else is camping but we, we like to camp over here um, yeah this is pretty amazing Actually turns into quite a little canyon down there. And back up in there is Mount Whitney and I, I don't actually think you can see it. But uh, yeah, it's back around the bend right there. So that's where we were. Beautiful place out here. A lot of wildlife, a lot of wildlife we've seen. So many deer, a lot of marmots, uh, we've heard bears. But we haven't seen any so it's been uh, just an incredible experience so far and we just got here so we're about to go over Forester Pass tomorrow the highest point on the that's on trail and uh, we were told that after that it's just absolutely gorgeous so <clears throat> I already think it's beautiful so I can't wait to see what it's gonna look like we we'll go down here and take a look at this waterfall well we're just sitting here watching uh, the sunset Actually, sun setting that way, but it's making the clouds look really cool over here. And straight ahead is in the back is Mount Whitney. That's not the the very top of it. We can't quite see that, but uh, that's Mount Whitney right there. And the skies just look beautiful. We like our camp spot down here. Honey mustard wheat bins. Oh yeah. Mm-mm. Mm.